Good morning. It's Monday, July 22nd. And right here, as I sit speaking to you, one of our major parties is in a complete mess. And I'm talking about the Democrats. The Democrats are unsure who they should put up to run against Donald Trump. Is President Joe Biden still capable of defeating Donald Trump? in the next election? That's the problem that many Democrats have on their mind. Biden's performance in recent months has been less than satisfactory. So, as Biden staunchly is committed to running again, many in his party are abandoning him. But they have a major problem because they don't have a consolidated opinion on who the next candidate should be. That is in a state of flux. Democrats do not have anybody who can represent their party that all the members of their party can agree on at this point. So while They would like to see Biden out of the race. They can't come together and decide who should be his replacement. There are many who feel that Kamala Harris is perfect for the job, that she knows how to do what it takes to be the president. But there are many who are not sure. And so... They are preparing to do something at their convention, but who knows what they'll come up with. This is not something that you want to have out there in the public domain. Being unsure of who your candidate should be for many reasons. And the candidates that they're proposing are not household names either. So the Democrats are in a tremendous pickle. They're in a state of flux that is unseen in my lifetime. I have not seen such a mess before an upcoming election. And I don't know who the right person is. But if Biden wants to run for re-election, they'll have to take him down. And taking him down will not be good for the party. So the Democrats are turning over whether Biden should run and who should replace him if he doesn't run. Now, Kamala Harris is in line for the job if they had a mini primary or something. But there are many who don't want her to get this job. And it's not that they don't want her to get this job. They feel that they need to coalesce and get together and pick a candidate. Now, that only... puts a poor picture in front of the American public. Now, there are many out there who don't want to vote for Trump, and those people might not vote at all if they are not satisfied with the candidate that the Democrat puts up. So this is a conundrum for the Democratic Party. Who do we put up? Why can't we allow Biden to run? Has he shown enough strength and enough mental agility over the last year or so to allow him to continue to run? I would have to say no to that question. I've seen the times that he has screwed up. And while I fully appreciate that because I am of his generation, I am older than he is. So I know, I know what happens to your mind in certain situations. So I think we have a major problem in the Democratic system. 
in the Democratic Party because they have no visible, powerful figures to put up. They're really stuck with Biden. And I don't know that he can step forward and produce the image that is needed. And in reality, he should be able to kick Donald Trump's ass because Donald hasn't proven that he's the right person for the job either. So here we are in the United States of America with a major, major disaster facing us. Can we afford another Trump presidency? He will take us and put us in a position where the rest of the world will be against us because of what Donald has spoken, and he will do it. And he will become a one-man show again if he's real. And he will probably help Putin win the war in Ukraine because he loves Putin and he loves Kim Jong-un too. And if Biden can't show strength in the upcoming days or weeks, then what are the Democrats going to do? It's very hard for them to push out an incumbent president to stop him in running for the presidency again. This is a mess that the United States has never, ever seen before. Well, maybe they have, but not in my lifetime, and I've been around a long time. So what is going to happen here? Will the convention solve anything in August? Will somebody step up to challenge Biden properly at the convention and raise the image of the Democratic Party? I don't think so. I think that this is turmoil and it will can continue to exist until election day. And I don't know if the Democrats have anybody that can save their party. It's a terrible, terrible situation that they have allowed themselves to get into. Biden should have made plans two years ago, and the Democratic Party should have been grooming some successor. But that's not the way it's gone. So I leave you confused this morning, just as confused as I am. Who is really going to be the Democratic candidate? And are they worthy of that position? That's enough for today. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.